arrested for being an Uber driver. And now we have a bunch of activists here with uh, signs talking about how they want a free Uber, how they want... Uh, what? What? I know, I literally just got here. I wish I got here sooner. Everything was cool and calm and collected, man. No, no, everybody's being peaceful until the cops showed up. What did they do? That's when it started becoming unpeaceful. Because that's what happens with cops. Make sure everyone's not blocking the sun. Yeah, Rob. The big sergeant, the big sergeant. Not the one we were talking to. The big guy. I think so. I mean, I probably would. Oh, yeah, I gotta guess Hello, sir. How's it going, sir? Great, how are you? Fantastic. All right, so Christopher David was arrested earlier today, uh, then posted bail for $5,000 uh, to get out of jail, uh, all for driving Uber. And the bouncer here at the Daniel Streets uh, did a. Uh, he did. Uh, filed a complaint got to, for wiretapping charges for videotaping him while he was driving an Uber around. And now uh, we have all these people here protesting that. Because in all honesty, you should not be arrested for uh, being an Uber driver, plain and simple. That's not the case. That should never happen. And we have dozens of activists here all in support of uh, Uber, including uh, Daniel here. How's it going, Daniel? How's the night been so far? So I, I wish I got here sooner, but I couldn't make it because of work. So, so we've had a lot of positive responses. Um, we got a little interesting here with the bartender slash bouncer. Uh, some heated words were exchanged. Uh, then the police were called and they came here and pretty much told at the bar that we can be out here doing this. Yeah. That's beautiful. Awesome. I'll have to catch that video. Yeah, yeah. My rebel mistress. Can you talk to me about what's been going on so far tonight? So far, it's mostly been peaceful. Um, everyone's staying on his porch. We got a lot of support. We got a lot of cars pumping in support of us. Free Uber. Um, uh, and then the owner of the bar got really upset saying, you know, it wasn't her bar Are they, like, supporting, bar you know, this. And I made the argument with her, you, you know, is your bartender fired? Is your bouncer fired? And she said, no, I'm not going to fire him. You take food out of this kid's house. What about our friend who's in jail? He's going to miss the birth of his daughter. What about, what about his kid? He's like, well, he should break the law. So if the law's bad, you should definitely yeah, follow, a lot of follow bad laws. And then she just got pissed and called the police. I know, because someone wrote down on a piece of paper that you can't be an Uber driver, it's okay to kidnap yeah. that person and throw them in a jail. So, yeah, but no, he just uh, posted bail. I saw him out there earlier today, around yeah, down, yeah, he Christopher has to stay David. Yeah, feet away. he has to stay away. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. I'm trying, I'm trying to get each sign here. First, everyone's like, you know, don't support the bar, but no, fuck that place because that woman, the owner came out obviously in support. With this yeah, status I mean, bar. Right. Yeah, I mean, None of us are hard, you know. They're not either. Way up more? Yep. So Randy. And the taxi cartel. Question why? Taxpayer money is sending the police here to enforce a monopoly they've created. What's your experience so far tonight? Uh, very positive, except for a couple of the patrons inside the bar that, you know, un like the bar for understandable reasons. It serves alcohol. It sounds like a good bar. Yeah. <laughs> But no, everything's been pretty overwhelming and positive. A couple pissed off taxi drivers and some rude cops that wanted to talk to the business owners, but not us. But other than that, it's been pretty, pretty positive. Beautiful, beautiful. Lots of people sharing their love for Uber and how much more convenient it is than cabs and how much cheaper and the list goes on and on and on. I love the turnout here, you know, especially for being a, how many, two hours into this now? Something like that? It's 10, right? I think it's been here about three, a little over three hours. I'm here at like 7.20. 
took an Uber in from where I parked. It was fun. So the guy was obviously supportive. Someone already committing, other people committing civil disobedience. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and they're not even parked. And Uber grandma was here. She, she rolled back all the time, took a picture. She said she was going to send it into Uber headquarters. The one that got arrested a little while, or I'm sorry, got a ticket. She got the uh-huh. first ticket for operating as an Uber driver in Portsmouth. Oh, a state rep came. A state rep came, came, came too. And was on our side. Eric, He's, Eric Schlein? Yeah, he was on Eric Schlein, yeah. He's a state rep. He came up here and he was arguing with the owner with us. He was like, what, what do you mean? After like, this, oh, the bouncer called us all idiots. Yeah. yeah. He was like, what do you mean? And that's, you're idiots. that's when he got mad. He was like, what do you mean? Why are you calling them idiots? Wow. That's beautiful. That's awesome. He was like, the government's in a monopoly. Right. I know that. I work for it. Like, he, he was dead <laughs> on. And that's then awesome. she got pissed. Christopher David, you're out here, you're uber activist extraordinaire, uh, and why are you, first off, give a, give a backstory, what's all, what's all happened really quick in the last like week, what's going on? Uh, let's see, for today I was arrested for the first time ever, um, Dover PD came to my house when I was not there this morning to arrest me, they talked to my pregnant fiance and said that they'd be back later in the day if I didn't go turn myself in. So I turned myself in. Uh, got and out and why do they have a warrant issued for your they arrest? They have a warrant out for my arrest uh, based on a felony wiretapping charge because I posted a YouTube video that included a recording of the bouncer down here being a douchebag. Uh, didn't identify his name or face or any of that stuff, but uh, he called the police to complain. Um, they wrote up an arrest warrant because apparently it's a felony, even though every lawyer I've talked to has laughed at that. Um, yeah, so... Warrant out for my arrest, turned myself in today. Part of my bail condition is I can't come within 100 feet of the Daniel Street Tavern. And that's why so, you're standing right here. Yeah, so we got a uh, measuring tape and measured out 100 feet is about right here. So I'm like about 105 feet away. Okay. So, I'm just um, pointing down to Daniel Street Tavern down there. Yeah, we just had an amazing article um, and news segment go out on Fox 25 Boston. A uh, reporter reached out to me about four hours ago on Facebook. You um, Packed her and a cameraman into the car, drove up here from Boston, interviewed me at home, uh, came down here, got everyone's uh, signs and stuff, and I just watched the segment on 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 live, and it's amazing, amazing clip. You'll see it online soon. Um, yeah, that's beautiful, yeah. man. Keep up the great work. What are you gonna say, babe? Uh, we were all just filming and wiretapping each other down there. <laughs> We got the rest oh, of all of us for wire, felony wiretapping. I'm going to sue you. I'm suing you. Well, I'm glad to see this kind of activism going on all the way on the coast. Hopefully it inspires more ports to do the same. All right. Bravo. 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 Bravo.